So you want to cut the length of your wig. Well, you came to the wrong channel. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do today. First of all, don't do this on a wig that you care about, okay? Do this on a wig that you couldn't care less about. That is the first rule. You will need courage. Okay, so if you don't have courage and you're all anxiety, you know, overwhelmed and all of that, then you'll definitely come to wrong the channel. So you will need some tools. You're gonna need for real a cork head, you know, for sure, okay? This wig is Willow in 10613GR. I got this on clearance and I'm not happy with the length, so I started cutting it. Now this is a regular synthetic wig. If it was heat defiant, it would be a little bit easier. Okay. So bear in mind that you are not cutting hair, you're cutting material. Okay. So because you're cutting material and you're not cutting hair, why would you need hair cutting shears? You don't. You need shears for fabric because you are cutting fabric. It feels like hair, it looks like hair, but guess what? The eats are not hair this material. So I'll put this in the drop down. These are embroidery shears and they're mid priced. I forgot how much they are, um, but they're affordable in my opinion. And um, they're made in Germany and they're quite sharp and they won't dull like hair cutting shears. Okay. Because they're designed to cut fabric, which is what this is. I'm just eyeballing it. Cut it straight across. Let it go. Take the section that I just butchered. I'm kidding. Okay, like this. Then I have my thinning shears, like this, and then I'm just going to go to town here. Really be, I've stabbed myself, so really be careful. And if you see, it's not exactly even to your liking, just don't panic, whatever you do. Okay. So again, I do this very slowly. It's getting there. It needs a little bit more evening now. I don't want to go overboard either, you know, to be very careful. It needs like a drop more. I'm just going to use, keep going with this. Okay, I could cut it a little bit more, but no. I'm just going to leave it. It's good enough. I'm not going to go crazy. So an important thing that you have to do is seal the ends. You want to seal the ends with a silicone product. I don't care what you use. I'm not advertising anything here. Just spray it with some silicone. Okay, that's the number one. Boom, boom. Just the ends, just a drop. Don't go overboard, please. Then you need a hot air brush of some sort. I don't care what kind you use.
So I'm just sealing up the ends. I'm just curling it up. I'm not done yet. I'm not nearly done yet. But I just want to show you that you have to seal the ends, okay? See? This is not our end result even. But you can see that this is looking already decent, okay? It doesn't look choppy. And you can just roll it up with your fingers. You know, just roll it up when it's still hot. And just hold it. Okay, so when you take it out, you see that it looks, you know, I'm not curling it like curling it. I'm just finishing it off with my hands to make it a nice little, you know. Okay. So that is one way. There's many ways to cut a synthetic wig. I'm just showing you the way that I do it. The reason I didn't use this is because I didn't need to thin out the wig. The density is really perfect to me, medium. So stay tuned for part two as we recurl our Willow by Henry Margu in 10613GR so that she looks like something that the cat did not drag in. Until we meet again in the next video.